We're at Pickleplex in Puna Gorda. We're going to play a mixed tournament tomorrow. Here are three unorthodox mixed double strategies that work. Senior pros use it. Pros use it. For explain, pickleball lovers, let's not forget to have a good day. When you're playing mixed doubles in a tournament, stack always give the male forehand middle. Always. Not always. You have a terrible backhand dink. I don't always want you on that side. And what if I need more opportunities in front of the woman? What if we need a reverse stack? Reverse stack, what's that? Well, when you would have the woman on the forehand side. Isn't that sexist? Maybe if she does the third shot drop, her mixed doubles partner can come in and capitalize on her amazing drop and create havoc and really put it away on that fifth shot. I mean, I am bigger than you, so I guess if you're dropping, you know, I can really cause havoc. Maybe she's right. It's better if I'm dropping and then you can really create havoc in the middle. And it makes more sense for me to shake and bake in the middle because I'm bigger and can move faster than you and I'm quicker. Yeah, you, it frees you up to leave the back line immediately. So you know after that return of serve, one, they're going to target me anyway. And then two, you can come in off of my third shot drop and really create havoc. This is a perfect illustration. Eva Welsher hits a beautiful, offensive third shot drop. Lots of topspin. Look at her partner crash in middle right when she hits that. And look how much pressure it puts on your opponents. So much pressure, and that's what we want to do in a tournament, right? Here it is one more time. Look how offensive that is. Now take a look at this example. Ava serves and takes the third shot drop offensively to leave room for her partner to be the beast that he's supposed to be, the alpha male, so he can dominate the kitchen. So if your mixed doubles partner, that lady can really hit a third shot drop, I would think about letting her hit it. Seriously, it works. When I was watching senior pro Ava Welsher dominate younger people i was amazed at how well she used the lob how well she dropped offensively and her partner shaked and baked right in the middle it was pretty cool right so i'm trying to bring that to you one more time perfect example of a third shot drop going up on the ball putting a lot of top spin and it's very offensive so you may be right i do remember making a video to return deep in mixed doubles to the male to keep him back anti-orthodox well, it's what I do when I play against you because you always creep in and you don't really have a good third shot drop. So I return deep to you when I play against you. So Terry has a point. So what's his second unorthodox strategy? Well, Joey, you kind of already said that, which is one of the things I guess you never notice when I do when I play against you. I always return deep to you so it keeps you back because I don't want you capitalizing on that fourth shot if my third drop isn't perfect. So that's why I always do the tango. If he's back there, he can't create as much havoc and I kept him back from coming into the kitchen. So you're saying I've taught wrong for four years. Returning deep to the male keeps the male back because the male really wants to get to the kitchen and cause havoc for their opponents. So that makes sense. It really does work. All these are example from yesterday of returning deep to the mail to keep them back so they can't make it to the kitchen and cause destruction and cause havoc, right? Eva returns really deep and then hits with an answer. Let's go, Eva. Take a look at that one more time and look where she places this ball because it's a perfect place, right? The male has to scoot over a little throws him out of place. So if you're playing, think about hitting this spot in a tournament. That's why I make these videos. I would recommend is maybe just half stack. What's half stack? Well, when you only stack on the serve. Why would you only stack on the serve? Well, maybe they feel like they don't have time against this team to switch. On, on returns. That makes sense. Pretty good strategy. What's a third? You want to capitalize when the other team is unwinding the stack. So when are they unwinding the stack? When they're returning? When they return the serve, they're going to unwind the stack. So they're running in, unwinding the stack, crisscrossing. Yeah. Okay, what should we do? Well, when they're unwinding the stack, you could get down low and throw up a topspin lob. So they're running into the kitchen, unwinding the stack, really trying to cover the line. 
and we threw up a topspin lob. That's actually genius. Well, I got that idea because I watched game tape. Hey, Mark. Mark Napotovich throws up a third shot lob every single time. He's my producer, but honestly, it's a good strategy. In mixed doubles, when I unwind in the stack, throw up a lob. Mark Napotovich hitting a third shot lob while his opponents are running to the kitchen. Now, his opponents are not stacking in this example, but it's still effective, right? Take a look one more time. Opponents run into the kitchen and it causes confusion. And in a mixed doubles tournament, they might begin to fight. Mean and argue, right? Men and women argue. And take a look. This is stacking. They run and Mark really gets them off balance. And when you're trying to cover that line, making it to the kitchen, it's one more factor that makes it a tougher overhead for your opponent. So think about that next time you're playing. Third shot lobs work. Here's some more. And Mark makes a lot of enemies doing this. Keep that in mind. Don't do it too much in rec play, but in a tournament when it's windy and the sun do it. One other thing, throwing up lobs not on the third shot is extremely effective in mixed doubles. Ava Welsher does this all the time. We have the finals game from her tournament this weekend coming probably tomorrow morning and you can see her doing it. But look at this point, right? Look how much her opponents are running and look at her partner, right? They're just standing there. Reverse stack, especially if the female has better drops, if the female has a better backhand dink, right? If the male's struggling, the other thing you can do. We'll return deep to the guy. Returning deep to the guy keeps him back. He can't creep in. Most guys are creepers, am I right? Yeah. So next time you're playing in a tournament and that male is creeping in, do that. Put him under pressure, return deep to him, right? He's going to try to creep in. He's going to do the tango. It's somewhat counterintuitive, but it's very effective. So I would try doing it. Think about doing this, right? Having the woman take an offensive third shot, driver drop, having the male get to the kitchen. One other effective strategy you probably heard of is going behind the guy, right? The male's really trying to dominate that forehand middle. So you could go behind him and it does work and I see it all the time in tournament play, it really does. Pickleball lovers, don't forget to try these strategies, save 10% on any paddle and don't forget to have a good day. And I'm not gonna turn this on. I called my producer, I thought it'd be funny to turn it on inside. But if I did turn it on, you would see the oscillate. Oh crap, Slinky, turn it off. You just gotta turn it off. Mom, cut the power. The folks at Titan sent me a ball machine four weeks ago. I've been using it.